in the war between the states. A young boy battled in the blood and death and bitter hates. And as he fought, a legend grew till widespread was his fame. The boy became a fighting man, and Jesse was his name. Young Jesse James, young Jesse James. Revenge and justice were the causes Jesse battled for. Against the men who weren't satisfied to fight a war. Young Jesse had a destiny and lived it wrong or right. But no one knew if Jesse fought to live or lived to fight. Young Jesse James, young Jesse James. You got plenty to do at home. They killed Paul Frank. 
Sasha's dead. They strung him up like a sack of wheat with his legs kicking up from under him. There wasn't anything I could do. Sorry, Frank. But I'm changing all that right now. Oh, no, you're not. I don't need hotheads. I need fighters, boy. Fighters in our great cause against Yankee tyranny. You go on home, cool off. When you've grown into a fighting man, maybe I'll take you in. Thanks, Major. Maybe I won't be needing you then. Why you, you? Wait outside, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's get down to our own business, boys. What did the great Confederate General Johnson have to say? It boils down to this. He needs our help. He's planning an attack on these two Union garrisons. If he succeeds, he can split the Red Leg forces in two. It's a nice thought. Why doesn't he go ahead and do it? He can't do it alone. He hasn't got the strength. If we could make one big raid up here in the valley, pull those forces away from the garrison. That's fine for General Johnson, but not for Charlie Quantrill. Well, then the answer is no. Couldn't have put it better myself. Now, why don't we all have a drink and forget about General Johnson? I've got plans of my own. Well, Major, you make them and... I'll carry him out. Come on, Jess. I'll ride home with you. No, I'm staying. What for? To be a guerrilla fight red legs. What do you think? This is no place for you. You don't belong here. Not with Quantro. I said I was staying. Be reasonable, Jesse. Your brother's right. This is no place for a youngster like you. Why not? I can handle a gun. You heard what the Major said. Who are you? I could have put that slug through your head just as easy. He's just a kid. I ain't no kid. Hey, you hush up. Pull that trick like that and call younger, you're lucky to be alive. Get him out of here, Frank. All right, what's all the racket? You look at that, Major? Kid shot the dipper right out of Cole's hand. Get him out of here, Frank. Uh, hold on, Cole. And if boy wants to prove he's a man that bad, ought to get the chance. Come here, boy. Can you use me, Major? I think so. Take him over to my tent, Frank. I want to talk to him. Go on, get going. <laughs> <laughs> stuck my neck out a lot further than you did, boy, a lot further. Don't call me boy. Just get on with what you gotta do. Stop you, get rid of this, even if you have to swallow it. Why don't you take this and pick out the lettering yourself, miss? 
boring. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Oh, I'll wait. Finish with the lady. Oh, that may take some time. She's trying to make up her mind about some lettering. You understand. Yes, of course. Thank you. I'd like to order some invitations for our officers' dance. Well, certainly. How many would you like, sir? Oh, I'd say 50, do. I'll deliver them next week. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Young lady, would you mind telling me your name? Miss, your uh, boots are showing. Now, while you turn around with your hands high, maybe Mr. Folsom will tell me who you are. We've been watching you for quite a spell, Mr. Folsom. This doesn't... you make out, Frank? Folsom's dead. The Yankees walked in on him. Never mind about Folsom. Did you get it? I got it, Major. I got this, too, off a dead sergeant. Frank. Yeah, here's a pistol I took off a Yank sergeant. Brand new Navy 44. You kill him? No. No, Cole got him. But I took all the yeah. chances. Dressed like a girl, you was... Safe as if he's home in bed. Hey, Folsom was standing right next to me when those Yankees shot him. Like I said, safe as in bed. You know, dear, you're real cute when you're mad. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me, miss. Oh. Frank, yeah. save him, be. Go! <laughs> Come on out of there, Zach. Back to look at the lady. Yep. Come on, kick him. Kick him. Come on, kick him. Come on, get him. 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 If you ever tell anybody, Zach, or even Frank. Oh, what? You know about my getting sick. Who's that? It's no joke. Look, Jesse, you think you're the first one to ever feel that way? Do you think any of us like what we're doing? Fighting, burning, waiting around in blood? No, Jesse. The only thing that keeps us together is that we're fighting for something we believe in. Now, if you didn't get sick looking down at your first dead enemy, I, I'd say there was something wrong with you. Don't worry, kid. I won't tell anyone. Cole? Yeah. Major wants to see him. And Jesse, you stepped on Zach pretty good. Real good. But you want to keep an eye on him, because he won't forget it. Thanks, Pitts. Here, this belongs to you. Says the wagon should come through here about 10 tonight. That's your job, Frank, and don't miss. We need them wagons real bad. Cole. Yeah. Uh, in this canyon here, 
The Red Lakes have a garrison with a small ammunition dump. Now, if something should happen to that ammunition, the Red Lakes are going to be too busy to think about them wagons. You see that something does happen about 10 to 9. All right, Frank, you better get your men off their backsides. All right, Charlie. Where are you taking, Frank? Oh, Cole, I yeah. want you to take them two youngins. Well, why them? Because I can't spare any men. I love you too. The only reason we're here is to blow up that munition dump. We give Frank a fighting chance, that's all. Now watch those sentries. As long as they keep walking their post, everything is all right. Just leave them be. They spot me, you know what to do. Just don't be heroes. When you hear this, it's time to ski out. Good luck. Preaching. Always preaching. Quantro says only good Yankees are dead. And I'm gonna make me a dead. Hurting, leave him alone. Look, why'd you think he said that? To him, we're, we're dirt. Kids, he's a hero. You know, just just like he done when you went to Folsom's. How do we do it? You get the one left. The other's mine. Watch me when I get my red leg. Go. <laughs> Turn out all right if we all got back. I sure hope Frank gets back with them supplies. I ain't had any for any month. No cornmeal to make any hush puppies or cornbread with. I got to wear, I don't even like my own cooking. Sentry could have killed me. I want to thank you. I was getting me another red leg. Thanks anyway. Forget it. When you get killed, I want to be there doing it. It would pleasure me more that way. Yeah, have some coffee. Jesse? Bits, you should have seen chicken skin here when I sneaked up on my red leg sentry with this here knife. <laughs> I swear he turned green. I told you to watch those sentries, Zach. But cool, I, I thought maybe they might see you. Besides, his man's the one that yelped. You get him. He's not like you. I don't say he doesn't deserve a beating, but he's not like you. If anything happens to Frank because you two made me throw that bomb too soon, I'll...
Hey, Major! Oh, we got him. Hey, Major, Frank's back. Just put it over there, buddy. You got all my stuff in here? Well, what'd you get, Frank? Well, one's loaded with food, the other's ammunition. Ha! <laughs> Almost like we'd order them ourselves, eh? Got a few fed prisoners. Yeah, I thought we could use them for exchanges. Hey, they must feed you blue bellies good. Well, look who's here. Remember me, Sergeant? No, I don't. The Samuel farm, remember? I was only doing my duty. Sure you were, Sergeant. Sure you were. And that's all I'm gonna do, mine. Oh, I'm grateful, Sergeant. You taught me what to do to anybody who can't fight back. Oh, you're going to be surprised, Sergeant, at all I've learned from Quantrill. Tricks with the point of a knife. Take it easy, Judge. Friend of yours, Cole. I've... You're a real Quantrill soldier now, aren't you, Jess? Did you enjoy that? Very important. Could use the rest for exchange. All right, you heard what he said, Harry, Luke. He could have been used for exchange too. Now another one of our men had got to spend a winter in a prison camp. This was more important. Oh, to what? To winning to the South? What do you think this is, Jesse? Your own personal war? Leave him alone, Cole. What's one fed more or less? The kid have his fun. He's earned it. Sure. <laughs> Frank, I want to talk to you. All right, Zach, these red legs belong to you now. Take them over and tie them up. Come on, oh, and move along there, boys. Yeah, what you want, boy? I'm going home, Frank. Well, that's fine, Jess. Just fine. I just don't understand you, Jess. And, Frank, I don't understand you. This here boy's developed into a real fighting man. Like Cole said, a Quantrill fighter. Maybe even a little bit like me. <laughs> what do you think of that, boy? Thank you for saying it, Major. But I came here to do just one thing. I done it, and now I'm going home. Jess is right. Ma needs him more than we do. You understand what's so different between you and him? He's just a kid. Cut it, Frank. Not Jess. He mustn't pay no mind to Frank. So he remembers you when you were a little fella. Now, me, I know you was a man the first day you walked into this camp. South needs men like you, Jess. Men to fight for our great cause. Just like me. Just like me. You and me together, we must destroy the tyranny I'm of the sorry, North. sorry, Major. I made up my mind. Bye, Frank. Bye, Jess. See you a little tomorrow. Kid's going home. He'll be back. Didn't know enough to stop when his belly's full. What an awful thing to say. Well, it's true. Of course, that was mighty fine cooking. Thank you, sir. Uh, you keep making vittles like that, and you're liable to find yourself a fellow someday. I found him.
What's that for? Oh, I was just thinking about us. How things have changed since I went away. Jesse? Nothing's changed. At least not the way I feel about no, you. I, I didn't mean like that. You know I love you. Now what? Well, it's thinking again. Well, thinking about what? Can a fella have any secrets? Not from the girl he loves. All right, Nosy, I was thinking about Ma leaving us alone tonight. Remember how she and Pa used to, used to sit over there reading, trying not to pay too much attention to us while we sat apart making moon eyes at each other? <laughs> Seems so long ago. The war's changed so many things. Z, did you ever do something or, or see something and say to yourself, it's happened to me before? I'm sorry, honey. You must think I'm getting touched. No, I don't. Jesse, please tell me. See, I, I killed the soldier that murdered Pa. Frank brought him into camp and I killed him. Someone said I didn't have to, but I did. I felt I'd killed him before and... and I'll keep right on killing him. Jesse? Jesse, that's all over now. You're home. Please don't think about it anymore. No. I'm sorry, honey. I, <laughs> I don't know what started me thinking about it now. I know, dear. I understand. Honey? Hmm? It's getting late. You've got lots of chores to do, and so have I. For one thing, I've got to bake a cake. It's your mother's birthday. Oh, I never could remember such things. I should have had her a present. You were present enough. I made her something. Oh, what? Something I started a long time ago, before... Come on, let's see it. put it in a frame for me. Z, Mom will sure appreciate this. Do you think so? Sure she will. Jessie, should we put it up and surprise her when she comes down in the morning? Why not? I'll just get something to hang it with. I'm sorry, 
Jesse. I know it's been bad for you. I understand. You said that before. But you really don't, because I'm not sure I do either. See, I... I wanted to come home to you and Ma so bad. I wanted to hold you in my arms like I did tonight and tell you that I loved you. After I killed that murderer, I went to Quantrill and told him I was going home. Home to all the things I wanted. Well, see, I'm home, but I didn't leave the war. I brought it with me. Don't you see, I, I didn't want to, but like I said, the wars change lots of things. I know now that every time I see Ma, I'll see him hanging from that tree. I love you, Z, more than anything in the world. But I won't have a world until all the murder. You sure are welcome, Sai. Get back. Hey, Cole, you suppose this Ray Kelly's worth saving? Come on, Jesse, this is no kid's game. Hurry up! Oh, you better have that information for Quantrill. I got it right here. How'd you get yourself up this creek? <laughs> well, Jesse, I ain't seen no gal in so long, so after I got what the Major sent me for a while, well, I just had to. <laughs> so I got caught. I just love them pretty little gals. He let out a holler as soon as we're gone. who I was. Oh, I'd be dancing right soon. Reckon that makes us even? Ah, I reckon. <laughs> oh, that's Sheriff. He sure would take him back when you zing that toad step in him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't have to kill him, Jesse. Oh, what'd you want him to do? Let that Sheriff go and wake up the whole... Oh, you shut your mouth. The Major want to see you, now get! Mr. Cole, way back at that print shop, why'd you kill that lieutenant? Because you figured you had to, right? Well, I kind of figured I had to throw that knife. Of course, now, I could have asked your opinion, but I was in kind of a hurry. So, Parson, if you don't mind, I got things to do. You ever go Tom Cat again when I send you on a bitch? Get out of here! Got it, us, Major? Yeah. 
That kid brought good news. Word from George Todd. Heading north from Texas. Big load of supplies. Oh, that is good news, Charlie. Yeah. Jesse, you and Cole are riding into Indian territory. Why? Lie to me. Major, my cousin and brother don't exactly see eye to eye. Let me go in Cole's place. Why is it everybody always feels he has to tell me what's going on around this camp? There ain't nobody better with a gun than Cole and your brother, and I need them both. Of course, if uh, there ever was to come to a showdown, I'd sure like to see it. I know the country, and I can travel faster alone. Don't you think I can handle it? Sure. You might stop off and shoot a few prisoners. John, <laughs> now wait a minute. Like I said, I'd sure like to see you go at it. But not now. Now we're fighting for something that's bigger than you two, and don't you forget it. Go get your supplies together. Come back here and get your orders. Let me go along, Charlie. Ah, quit your fretting, Frank. Them two's gonna need each other. They know it. They'll behave until they get back. Well, why chance it? The supplies are too important. I need you here. You better go see they're getting ready. One of those smokes? Well, shouldn't be too long now. You know, Jesse, we're both on the same side. Uh, why don't we act more like it? Oh, now look, Sean, we... Now, don't get riled up. Can't you understand when you watch someone grow up, you, you can't realize when he becomes a man? Sure. Sure, I jumped you about the sheriff, but I just don't want you to be like Quantrill and Zack. You asked me why I killed that lieutenant. I killed him because he was an enemy with a gun. When you saw him die, you got sick in your belly. But when you threw that knife and saw the sheriff die, I, I got a feeling you almost enjoyed it. I saw that grow right up in you every time you had a killing. Got easy each time, didn't it? The sheriff was too easy. I know you admire Quantrill, but don't follow him too closely. You confuse me, Cole. If it's wrong for me, why is it right for you to follow Quantrill? If you don't like him, why don't you leave him? Well, I guess I've been with Charlie too long, and maybe it isn't so easy. That ain't much of an excuse, Cole. Quantrill's at least got guts enough to do and say what he wants, right or wrong. You keep telling me how wrong I am. When you get back to his camp, why don't you walk in and tell Quantrill how wrong he is? An ankle. You're a great help to me now. I think it's only twisted. Well, I'll take a look. Don't bother. I'm not doing it for you. We've got a job to do. Take it easy. Might be broken. That's a cinch you can't walk on it. Hey, I remember a place right near here. They'll put us up for the night. Yeah, okay, let me give you a hand. Easy now. Put on your weight. Come on, let's get over to my horse. Ah, easy, easy. Come on. You didn't hear? Sam's mm. dead. Dead? Well, come on in. Oh. I'll tell you about it. Hey! Oh, I'm oh, sorry, Jesse. This is Bell Star. It's nice to know you, kid. Jesse's Frank Jenny's brother. We thought we might stay here for a while to get the foot better. 
I'm glad to have you. I'm more than glad to have your company again, Cole. Thank you. Come on in. More coffee? Mm. Thank you. Feel any better? Yeah. Oh, it's good to be in your arms again, Cole. It's been a long time. missed you. Living alone like this, it's been even worse. I don't suppose you'd understand that. Wouldn't I, though? It's good to be kissing a man again. And I happen to be the only man around, is that it? You know, Cole, you're the only man I ever really wanted. Mm. So you married Sam? seen a fellow like Cole. You impudent young colt. You ain't even man enough to hold Cole Younger's horse. Where'd you get this plug? It's the best I've got at the moment. I could steal better. The saddle ain't too good either. Unless you want to ride side saddle. You know, I'd like to pay you for all you've done for me. You don't owe me a thing, kid. It's a little present for my good friend here. He's done me some favors, too. Thanks, Belle. Oh, don't thank me, Cole. Let's get going. We're two days late already. I'll see you soon, Belle. Hello, well Bell. If you change your mind about my offer, let me know. I'll sure think it over. Which way, Cole? It's as far as we go, Jesse. What do you mean? I'm riding down south to Louisiana and join up with General Shelby's regulars. You go on with George Todd alone. Unless you want to come along with me. You've been planning to desert Quantrill all along. Why didn't you have the guts to tell him you were quitting? Because before I got 100 yards out of camp, I'd have a bullet in my back. What makes you think you won't when you leave here now? Well, because uh, you're riding out first. I wouldn't turn my back on you. Sure, so you got good sense sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. You know, it's a funny thing, Jesse. You and me fighting on the same side. Oh, by the way, when you get back to camp, ask the Major what he intends to do with those supplies. There's your trail, boy. Good luck. Sure is good to have you back again, Jesse, boy. Just can't get over that coal running out on us. You know, he never did believe in our great cause. Good man just doesn't run out on what he believes in. You mean like that money? Money's the most important part. Maybe even more important than just fighting. 
I'd like to know what you're going to do about those wagons we brought in. Well, what are you worrying about that for? I'll see they get to the right place. Oh, I trusted that Cole like a brother. I can just see him lollygagging around now with that bell star. Here, boy. Have a drink. We'll drink to our beautiful southern women. God bless them. And I'd still like to know about those wagons. <laughs> How about a drink, Frank? Do it's all good. to do. Jesse, I know how you feel. You ain't got any idea how I feel. I'm gonna find out who did it, and I'm gonna get even with every last single one of them. No. Jesse, please don't think that way. It isn't the answer. Yes, it is. Jesse, you can't fight the world for revenge. What do you want me to do? The road, huh? to tell him that General Lee surrendered at Appomattox. Jess! Jess, did you hear? The war's over. Lincoln's called on the South to lay down their arms. I've got to spread the word. There'll be a meeting. Lee surrenders. It's all over, Jesse. Is it for us? just because some general back east signs his name on a piece of paper. Does that wipe out all the things that Jayhawk's done, the robbing, the killings? 
See, there's still a lot of scores to settle, a lot of fighting left. War or no war. Jesse, have you thought about, about what happens to us now? See, I, I always thought one day we'd get married. When I got around to asking you proper. No, Jesse, that'll never happen. See, don't you love me? I love you, Jesse. But I'll never marry you. Not with you feeling the way you do. What kind of life could we have? There's nothing I can do. Jesse, please. Please listen. Ride in and surrender. You'll be free and the past forgotten. And we could be married. And only then, Jesse. captured by the Quantrell group once, and I seen James. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Being sorry doesn't do any good. It will probably discourage a hundred other rebels from coming in peacefully. I can't tell you, men, how much I regret this. I'll do everything in my power to make it right. for you, son. The ring I wore when I married Jesse's father. Oh, but won't you want it? It's yours now. Z, I... Thank you, Frank. Well, are we waiting for anything, Reverend? <clears throat> I believe not. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together in this here in the sight of God and this country. What's the matter, Jeff? You getting soft? Nah. Dang old plow busted again. Ain't any of us getting any younger. Well, you can help this plaza new one. Yeah. 
You know anybody to give us a free one? Here's something for you to drink. Oh, thanks, honey. Thank you. What's wrong? Cloud busted again. We better face up to it, Jess. Better swallow our pride and test our credit. Here's your change. Thank you, ma'am. Well, now, Frank. All we need is a few things to get the crops going, Mr. Jenkins. You boys owe me $63.75 now. I, I just can't give you any more credit. Collateral, Jesse. Banks got to have collateral to lend money. I only need $500. The farm's worth at least $5,000. Things ain't the same, Jesse. I can't do it. Look, Jesse, I'd be glad to if it wasn't... If I weren't Jesse James? I didn't say that. You didn't have to. Now, uh, how much did you fellows say you need? Oh, I don't know about that. thousand dollars. thousand dollars. And your names, please? Frank and Jesse. Frank and Jesse... James. Frank and Jesse James? Yeah, anything wrong? No, not a thing, only I'm afraid... I'm afraid you can't lend it to us, is that it? Yes. I've got a uh, better proposition for you fellas. Supposing I buy your farm. I'll give you $1,250 for it. Well, that's fair enough, isn't it? For a $5,000 farm, why don't you lend us $1,000? I'm sorry, but uh, all I can do is buy it. Well, I've stated my figure. It won't do any better. No, Jess, no. Younger, how are you? All right. Good, Good to see you. How are you? Fine, thank you. Remember my brother? Yeah, cousin Bob. I hope you don't thank mind. You. I made some coffee. Your mother and Z went to bed. Fine. Say, hey, thought you were dead. You always said I was too mean to die. Yeah, that's right. You and Charlie Quantrill. Only he made it. <laughs> I guess he wasn't as mean as you, Jesse. Hey, let's not start that again. The fighting's over. Not for me, it isn't, Frank. Now, the whole country is talking about the younger brothers. Heard you turned outlaw, robbed a couple of banks in Kentucky and over a Gallatin. Stories are true, but we haven't turned outlaw. This is our way of fighting, Frank. My brothers and I have been hitting back at the banks that foreclosed our farms and at the railroads that have taken our land away. But we need more men. I've already talked to Caldwell Miller and Pitts here, and they're coming along. I hope maybe that uh, you would too, Frank. I don't know. I never thought about turning against the law. What's the law ever done for us? I say we go with Cole. Not a chance, Jesse. I want Frank. What's wrong with me? I can't take any chances. Cole's right. We don't need you. It's not your fight alone. If Jesse doesn't go, I don't. I reckon that goes for me, too, Cole. take them, but I don't like it. But remember one thing. We play it my way. I pick the targets and make the plans. Anything you say, Cousin Cole. Where do we start? Oh, where would you like to start? How about Liberty? Why Liberty? It's a prosperous town. Well, fine. I'll go in and look it over and we'll all meet later. Good seeing you again, Frank. Okay, bro. Okay. Bye, Jesse. See you later. Horses are saddled. Z, sorry we woke you. Still mighty early. I hadn't slept. Did you think I would? We try. This is the only way we know. It's the only easy way. And for you, that's best. Zarelda. Go ahead, Frank. I'll catch up. I'm sorry. Don't be long, Jeff. I'll fix you something to eat. Don't bother. You're right. I shouldn't bother. I only wish I didn't care. Do you think I like what I have to do? Do you think I like seeing you and Ma go without things? 
Now, you heard Frank. That's all we can do. And you heard what I said. It's the easy way. Look, I did what you asked once, remember? I got a bullet for my trouble. See, listen. We've never had anything. It's for us. It'll be our chance, the chance we never had. If you go with them, there'll never be a chance for you or me. See, you've got to try and understand. Goodbye, Jesse. God be with you. Jess will be here. Just a few minutes. Let's leave. We don't need him. We need Frank. I'm going with you. I told you that. Hi, Jess. Hi, Fitz. You're late, Jesse. We're getting ready to leave. Yeah, put this on. What for? Town is full of cattle buyers. Most of them are wearing these things. It'll attract less attention when we go into the bank. How'll I get to my guns? You're not going to need them, Jesse. Remember that. Not going to be any shooting unless something happens and we have to fight it out. Liberty is full of ex-fed troopers with the guns oiled and loaded. One shot will wake up the whole town. Oh, you're making a mistake taking him into the bank instead of me. He's just a hot-headed kid. I'll cut it, Jesse. Let him be. I told you to keep your hand off that gun. Tell your brother. I'm telling you. That's enough, Jess. All right, boys, gather around. Tell you what we laid out. <laughs> Major Clark, ma'am. Is this the home of Mr. James? Mr. Jesse James. Major. Perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Mrs. James. I do remember, ma'am. Mr. James has gone to the county seat on business. Well, when do you expect him? Not for several days. Oh, I'm sorry. I did want to see him. We're leaving the territory tomorrow. I'm sure we won't miss your kind. May I? It's for Mrs. James. Please read it. Can't say I blame you for feeling as you do, ma'am. I deeply regret that I was in charge when your husband tried to surrender. But believe me, what happened was beyond my control. I hope that letter will help to rectify the unfortunate incident. By authority vested in me, known as Jesse James, is hereby granted complete amnesty. Well, Mr. Knox, how are you?
Frank, give me a hand. Frank. Frank? Yeah. We're being followed. We'll wait here a while till we're sure. Then we're on our way. Yeah, I wonder how much we got. <laughs> yeah, wait till Z sees this. <laughs> She's gonna forget to be mad. Hey, you know, I'm gonna buy her the prettiest dress she ever saw. Oh. You know, it's too bad that carpetbagger went for his gun. We could have had a sight more of this. You had to kill him, didn't you? Yes, and I don't have to tell you why. You know, you're sitting there and watching him. Ain't gonna help. Hey, Pitts, how much you reckon your share is? I'd give up some of mine if the rest of those boys could have made it back. Look, we all took the same chances. It could have been me or you. They didn't have to wait, Jesse. They could have left when you fired that first shot. Don't you understand nothing? They stayed because they wanted to help us. And to make sure they all got their share of this. Hey, Frank, there's a knife in my saddle bag. Did he get it? Sure. Jesse, throw me that money bag. Uh. Ain't nobody gonna take nothing from me. Point that gun down, Jesse, and throw the bag to Cole. Sorry, boy. Don't tempt me, Jess, because right now I think you'd be a lot better off dead than the way you are. Ain't you all something? Pitts there who'd cut his mother's throat for a dollar. All sad-eyed because of some no-good white trash. That no-good white trash saved your stinking life. And also our money. And call you there. Moaning over a brother you probably taught to cheat and steal. Oh, I know. I heard it all before. You've done it for the glory of the South. Okay, Frank, you can take that gun out of the middle of my back. I ain't gonna shoot nobody. Put it away. Because if you're ever tempted to aim that at me again, you'd better use it fast, because brother and no, I'll kill you. Here, take it and get. I've taken more from you than any man living. I ain't denying what you say is true, but know this, boy. I ain't sunk low enough yet to pull down on my own kin. But if Jim dies, that don't hold. You might as well start trying now. Because I don't think he's going to be here long. Wait. All right, Jim. Oh. Easy. And I ain't aiming to stay for the funeral. I'm riding out. How about it, Pitts? If my own brother wishes me dead, it's a sure sign he ain't going. I don't need you. Any of you. If he don't make it, come looking. I'll make it easy to find me. The day he walked into Quantrill's camp, if I had the gumption, maybe this wouldn't have happened. If I had the gumption. If there's nothing I can do to help Cole, I... I understand, Frank. He's your brother. Brother Frank.
bank road off to meet their fate. An outlaw life that took its shape deep down in Jesse's hate. The destiny of Jesse James, a strange and bitter thing. A restless boy who only knew the peace that death would bring. Thank you. 